I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here so I can see some yummy things on there. Um, and by yummy things, I mean words that jump out at me or phrases. Um, even just even just one word. I'm not like I'm not reading the page. I'm just kind of scanning it. Like this one, it's not cynically jumped out at me. The girl has behaved splendidly like a thoroughbred. What? It's this one. Oh, this is. Okay. And now, um, so I have my page, and I'm going to start cutting out words that jump out at me. First, I'm going to trim the paper just because. Um, I don't like to have to cut through the margins every time. But I am going to keep this, the chapter title. So I'm just going to start collecting words and phrases. Um, I might start um, arranging them into something that has meaning, but for right now, I'm just going to focus on um, finding and mining those words. And you can go through and you can read and underline first if that makes it easier. Now that I have some things underlined, I'm going to cut them out. And then after I cut them out, I'm going to go and see if there's anything on the other side that I would like to save. And as you're doing this, you don't need to worry about... Don't try to kind of white knuckle your um, way into this exercise. You don't need to use everything that you cut out. You can go back and cut out more. Um, and you certainly don't have to um, try to create meaning as you're cutting here. This is just about noticing what you're interested in. I mean, it's not even about what you're interested in, but what jumps out at you, which can mean um, what some deeper layer of yourself that is deeper than consciousness um, may be interested in or want you to know about yourself. You can also call this intuition if you like. And I, I have these like kind of lined up, but just you know, um, they are not lined up according to meaning or to create a different text yet. We'll get there, but that's not what my goal is right now. Just, just noticing, just mining, excavating, finding things that intrigue me. Or you can also look for things that you dislike. Um, so, for example, that first um, phrase that I um, mentioned before I even started cutting anything where it says, the girl, it's right here, the girl has behaved splendidly like a thoroughbred. Um, I didn't cut that out because I didn't like it necessarily. Um, but it, I actually quite dislike it. Um, for a variety of reasons, but I still, um, it still feels like it holds something that I can use to explore my questions, to find my questions.
Okay, so I have finished mining my um, my text, my page. So now I have this collection of hodgepodge words and phrases. So now is the time to um, try to arrange them in a sort of meaning um, into a poem. Um, and then we're going to glue it into our art journal. So I'll give you an example. Still finding more hair, man. Excuse me. So here is kind of what we're going to do. Um, we're going to make a poem, a found poem. Um, see if I can find other examples. Um, and you just, we're just trying to find here, um, to sort of write our way into a deeper knowing of what's going on inside of ourselves. Uh, and maybe what the resulting poem will be is not what's going on inside of yourself, or it's not that important. important. Um, and that is totally fine. Here's a little one. This one, it reads, She began to possess a strong conviction of her sacred presence. I'm the mother of gold. Um, and so, for example, in this example, um, the question I kind of felt my way into in the process of doing this page um, was um, my interest in my need for um, femininity and my faith in my deity, I guess you would say, seeking of the feminine divine, realizing just what that meant to me um, and that I wanted to pursue um, pursue that idea and that aspect of God or whatever you would like to call God. Um, and so this page it was very helpful to me. Um, I paired it with a face, a feminine woman face. Um, so that's what we're doing here. So, start to arrange these um, items. Um, it doesn't have to make like total sense. It could be very metaphorical. It can be nonsense. Um, it can be very short. You don't have to use all of these. Or, if you're finding that you just want, um, you're really wanting a word that you don't have on this page that you chopped up, you can go to a different page. Um, or you can even just chop up individual letters and make your own word. Um, something that I do is that I have this stash of book pages that I already chopped up, at least a little bit. I mean, this one I've hardly used at all. Um, but I keep them. So when I um, am missing a word, and I, that word is vital, and I don't want to... I hate doing it, like cutting up individual letters because they're so tiny. Um, I try to find that in a book page I've already chopped up in, in one of my scraps, or I just go back in and um, cut it out of a, a new book page. You can see I've done that here. Um, I went in just for a couple of things and left left the rest. Same here. Um, and that's totally fine. So do whichever um, strikes your fancy. And remember, this is for you. This is doesn't have to be shown to anyone. Um, so try to be gentle with yourself and enjoy the process. <clears throat> and listen to what's going on inside you.
So I think I've got my poem. It says the summons. She doesn't seem a gentle woman. The girl is not behaved like we, or just like we, tacitly thoroughbred. She came looking this way like an eclipse of the sun, trying to find her lost laugh. A word of the original ru rumor, and she began life over out in the woods. No hurrying and crowding, a land of mystery. All her world is a story. Um, so I think I'm going to stick with that. So now the next step is is to glue it into the journal. The way I like to do this, because um, it's kind of hard to handle. It's kind of hard to handle these tiny little scraps um, with a brush, sometimes I find. So I just um, put some of my matte medium or whatever kind of adhesive you want to a little bowl and I just dip like the top half of the paper into it and that usually will give enough to cover um, the entire... Uh, oops. That's not quite dry. Oopsies. <laughs> well, that's not quite wet. <laughs> okay. So my son just woke up from his nap, so he is joining us, so you might hear his voice a little bit. Um, yes. But I have finished gluing down my poem into my journal, and I'd love to see your poem and read your poem, um, only if you're comfortable with that, of course. If you want, you can post it in our Facebook group. Mm -hmm.